Good morning, good morning, good morning. Give me a second to get Facebook connected. Always takes a little bit of time to do that. All right, and here we go. So today, uh, actually, we're analyzing these two two fighters, Azerbaijan versus Iran. Both of them are very good front leg fighters. My front leg knowledge is not the pinnacle. I'm going to say that outright. I usually use my front leg just to cut or to jam the other person's leg to follow up with my back leg or just get the leg, other leg out of the way. What we're going to see here, those two dynamic, two, two fighters who both use their front leg extremely dynamically. And uh, I'll be picking away some ideas and giving those to you guys as I see them. Um, I did preview this a little bit before. We're going to see uh, a lot of changing target by Iran and uh, how you could use that. You can watch him for uh, how to use that in your own game. And then also we can watch Azerbaijan's front leg to see, um, oops, sorry, Azerbaijan's front leg to see um, almost how to maintain distance. Um, and I'll keep you guys posted. Starting off, Iran usually used, likes to bring the pressure first round. This is pretty normal. Azerbaijan trying to, trying to counter around it. Both, both two front legs, a lot of stuff can happen within this uh, mini fencing format. Iran good with the punch. Something to take away, guys, is if you're able to close on your opponent's front leg and it's bent, you can punch on top of it. Don't be afraid to do that the way Iran did. There it is. Oh. So that might be uh, something Azerbaijan's waiting for. If your opponent goes to punch, obviously the head is open, just like Azerbaijan's countering. I think it's found. I think they probably scouted each other. They know what's coming. The out in is coming. The crescent kick. But notice too, when these guys are using their front legs, they're not moving their body forward. They're super deep like GBRs. You're using it mostly in place. Ooh, leg check. Using the leg mostly in place, keeping the torso in place, just throwing the leg out there with a lot of power. Gum Dung's making the difference in this game. With a front leg heavy fighter, you gotta watch out for the uh, the leg blocking. Good flicking it up. Because if you left it up there, it would've been Gum Dung. Not bad. Good try to capitalize, try and capitalize off that. Ooh, nice try changing targets. Sound like a clash, though. Good job changing targets by Iran. Mixing it up front and back. Azerbaijan's still pretty heavy on this front leg. I think his, his only uh, back leg is probably the out-in on the punch. I don't. It doesn't seem like he has a, a back leg offensively, like from range. So everyone who's joining us, if you guys feel free. If you have any questions, concerns, comments, feel free to throw that in the comments. I'll try to answer those when I can. Uh, what I said earlier is I'm not super, uh, super amazing at the front leg, but I'm gonna break down to you guys what I can. So far, Ren's changing targets a lot. Uh, following up with the back leg every now and then, and with a punch, threatening with a punch too on top of that. Azerbaijan like that. Azerbaijan, I think, waiting, waiting only for the out in. Uh, it doesn't seem like he has a back leg offensively from distance. It doesn't look like he's saving it either. Pressure wise, uh, Azerbaijan standing on the ground and I got with with very front leg kickers. Uh, a lot of motions forward like. The way he, I, like, I like to praise Dehun on this, I'm not sure, uh, given how heavily reliant they are on the front legs, if that's actually super applicable here. Okay, there's board. So guys, if you're just joining us, feel free to throw something in the comments. Iran's still bringing the forward, still bringing the offensive pressure. Trying to change targets now, doing a little bit more flippy kicks than he was earlier. Hmm. 
I'm not sure if Iran's giving different looks or if that was a call because he didn't do a uh, front leg full moon, front leg hook kick before first round one. Azerbaijan doesn't really have seemed, in my opinion, doesn't really have seemed to change tactics. He may just be trying to bait Iran in for that punch, for that punch looking out and over it. That might be the entire game plan. That might be why he's not also motioning too heavily because he wants uh, he wants Iran to feel comfortable coming out on the punch. Try. Iran's doing a great job maintaining distance, staying just out of range, making sure that Azerbaijan's front leg poking and prodding doesn't actually get to him. Surprised there's not more flicky clicks coming out of Iran though. After he hits a hook one time, why doesn't he follow up the second time? Because if your foot's there already, might as well might as well try for it, in my opinion. Still nothing. Good cover by Azerbaijan. Not getting hit by either of those. Oh, nice try. Mm, might have been up down there. Yeah. So it looks like Azerbaijan's literally just saving his back leg, trying to use his front leg to get. Uh, I wouldn't have called that a grabbing. Azerbaijan using his back legs or is using his front leg to try and bait Iran in for the punch so he can out him on top. Uh, card, let's see if we fast forward this. This may take a while. Uh, still waiting. Still waiting. Oh. Let's see. Denied. So, loss of a card by Blue and no points. That's quite unfortunate. Does Iran change? Iran changed stance knowing that. Interesting. That was the call. Oh, wow. And denial of a fight. That's pretty unfortunate. So, I was going to say Iran changed stance, but he went right back to, I think, what he's comfortable with, what his base is. So Azerbaijan's entire game plan seems to be revolving around that out in. Iran's still poking and prodding. Uh, he has the lead though, obviously, so... If I Iran maintain the forward pressure still, keep changing targets, hopefully something will slip in. Not too much else to be said about that. I would also discourage from punching. I wouldn't, I wouldn't tell Iran to punch anymore. As Azerbaijan... Uh, I would say you got to follow up, man, because you're shooting one shot in place, second shot in place, a little bit of footwork, one shot in place again, second shot in place. If you're changing targets, hit, put your foot down, try and follow out in, on the clinch, kick, kick, like kick backside, kick face, instead of just like one, 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 one. Uh, I think that might play out a little bit better, especially because it looks like Iran's defense is pretty solid. Got to change the targets. Iran not big, backing down. Good, good. Iran's the one changing targets and doing more flippy kicks. I think he's doing that predominantly to to uh, cancel out Azerbaijan's front leg, though. Nice job trying to wrap around. First kick to cancel, second kick to score. First kick to cancel, second kick to score. Oh wow! And he still went in for the for the punch, and the ref took it away. Interesting. I wouldn't have made that call. I think that was pretty clean. Notice Iran here is kicking the clash and then kicking the score after. Kicking the clash, kicking the score. More kicks like that by Azerbaijan need to be done in order to win this. You can't just be one. Can't just be one. Second kick. Second flicky kick somewhere. Body face. Face body. Iran's leg's super strong. 
Two. Two. Got to be two. Ah, painful, painful. Okay, okay. Even the time, even the time. Gum junk still. Man, you know what's interesting though? Is um, all the points here have been gum junks. All the points are gum junk here. You got to cover. That's how they got to the semifinals. Is they got to cover? You got to cover and be strong defensively while you're taking the fight to your opponent. Oh, whoops. Sorry, guys. Nice try. So Iran knows that Azerbaijan is just going to go up top with his left when he gets inside. So Iran's countering with his left leg on top. If you guys didn't notice that adjustment right away. Azerbaijan needs to change, kick and change targets. More like more stuff like that. Maybe something will slip in. Nice try by Iran using his forward momentum. Azerbaijan needs to change targets more. Iran's doing a great job putting defense. Kicking once, kicking a second time, just to, just to, um, just to, like, I mean, the second one's trying to score, but it prevents Azerbaijan from kicking still. If you're able to have two strong kicks on top of each other like that, like Iran's doing one, two, one back around, it makes it super hard, super hard for Iran, or your opponent to follow up. You need to have a strong core, you need to have a strong base. Super important, especially if you're playing the front leg game. And Azerbaijan can't get around it. And uh, Iran in that second just stopped all of Azerbaijan's entire momentum forward. Turning side. Turning side underneath. My usual recommendation for someone with a strong front leg is to spin. Bait the front leg up, and you spin. Because they're so strong, on the, they have to be strong on their back leg, they're not going to get out of the way. You run the risk of a headshot, but you also risk hitting them in the head too. I think that's, that's game. Azerbaijan, I think, needed to kick a little bit more flippy kicks. A couple more flippy kicks would have done it. Uh, let's see. Uh, let me find the next next match for you guys. We'll do one more before I head out for lunch and cry about my final grade because it did not turn out well. We'll go here. All right. Uh, GBR, Samson, ooh, Samson. This guy's been uh, fine for a while versus uh, Russia, is that it? Looks like Russia. Yeah, it's Russia. Samson starting out, super strong. GBR, I wanna watch this guy. If, he has, if GBR is known for something, it's known for having a strong, dynamic front leg. They throw it differently than Iran does. Iran's a little bit more in place. GBR is full weight, like full power, full force going through the cut kicks. Dynamic front leg, nice. I like how they're both. Neither of them are really backing down. They're not giving up pressure. They're not giving them uh, floor space if they don't have to. Wow, and the back leg. Maybe it's all just one leg. Let's try. Samson looks pretty fast, though. Pretty explosive. Even though they're exchanging this much, I feel like oh, nice try changing tempo there, Russia. Um, they're even though they're not. Um, well, now he's scoring. Initially, I was gonna say, ooh, nice, nice job coming in right on the reset. I was gonna say it looked like they're mostly trying to poke and prod first. Samson saw an opening though and went for it. But the reason I was saying that is because their kicks. Before that, they weren't really following up. Samson followed up on that one. Uh, obviously scored. Now Samson's, I think, looking for the point more instead of just trying to feel out Russia's defense. He feels like he can beat Russia uh, offense. Like, Russia can't counter his offense. It's pretty much the conclusion Samson's come to. That's why he's more comfortable following up. Ooh, nice try. That was pretty quick. Set. 
Oh wow, and Samsung scored on top. I would have given. I thought Russia would have scored on that, but Samsung GBR legs super strong. Nice try. I would have. I would have coached to attempt that again. It looked like it would have scored. All right. So coming out of this, Great Britain obviously ahead. Uh, super strong, just pure strength in that. If I were Russia, what would I be coaching against this? Strong front leg. That was pretty close. And strong in the clinch. What I'd be baiting, actually, is I'd try and draw the front leg on one of them, Hujin, and then go for the head on top. Because you don't want to be, if you can't mix it up inside, you got to pick your points after they're done firing. If you can't, if you can't outgun them, wait till they're done shooting their gun and then shoot them afterwards. That's a lot, a little bit more into faking, a little bit more into traps, a little more into that, that kind of stuff. And start controlling the distance. Russia's creeping in, uh, maintaining distance a little bit, but he doesn't, in my opinion, he's not, he's not too much in Samson's face. It's, there's not a lot of, there's not too much pressure coming through the motions, coming through the forward. He's just kind of inching, and I think Samson knows there's nothing on top of it. Motion, motion, fake. Motion fake. You can't have Samsung comfortable kicking his front leg and feeling like he's going to hit you. Samsung's doing a great job, though, just picking his shots. I mean, Russia's... I think he knows he's faster than Russia, so he's just picking him apart with it. Just whatever you throw, go ahead. I'll throw right after because I'm going to catch you. Harder motions, Russia. Harder motions. You got to bait the front leg. got to make him doubt if he can hit it. Right there. Hit him. Twice, three times, okay. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Motion, hard motion. Get him to get him to beat. Nice try. Maybe flick to the head. Ransom had Samson hadn't punched this entire match, so I think that was not a bad bad call by Russia. Good job by Samson, obviously reading the distance. You got to motion more, man. You can't let him sit there and just throw that at you. Nice. I still think, though, that was... Oh, my gosh. Cover, please, Samson. Cover. The two points for free. For free. This match is such a slugfest. I feel like there's not too much, like, layering trap adjustments going on this is a lot of like I'm gonna throw this technique because it feels good right now and uh, I hope it scores and these guys are both super strong it looks like so it's paying off <laughs> another off the line with very little information sometimes games are like this though sometimes it's just straight good job Brescia using his uh, going back to the thing that scored Sometimes some games are like this though, they're just straight slugfests. Like who's stronger physically, who's a little bit more explosive. Physically, who's who's out there? How old is this guy, man? Is it, did he cut his hair like that? Interesting. Anyway, this is a good good capitalization by Sam by uh, Russia, making seeing that Samson was off balance. He has actually yeah, I actually don't really know how that scored either, but Hey, sometimes it happens. Sometimes luck's in your favor. You just got to take it when it's there. Twenty seconds. Fast forward, please. I don't want to rewind on you guys. Okay, going in. Okay. Samson using the explosiveness, playing to the strength. Sorry, Samson, actually, I might slide in and then kick right away. And then kick, oh, and then if he kicked, if he slid in and kicked without the hesitation, I think that would have would have been good. Russia, I think, still going to look for those pocket cuts. Kick. Nice try. I actually don't know who wins this. This is kind of exciting. Oh! No, dude. Motion to look for your cut. 
Oh, oh, that was oh that hit Hogu too. What a waste. No, that hasn't been scoring. Stop doing that, Russia. Don't send that side either, Russia. He's gonna hit you with this front leg again. Explosive front leg in. Ex Ugh, that's what I was talking about. Don't do it. Now just sit and look for your cut. Look for your cut. No, oh, that might have scored actually. Look for your cut. No, that's never scored. That hasn't scored the entire time you've been fighting this dude. It's covered. Change the target. Be like a ran. Ooh. Nice job. What I was talking about earlier, guys, what uh, the, the slight motion. See if I can get to that. Uh, oh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Not that. I don't like seeing that because that hasn't been scoring. I think I rewound too much. It's kind of hard to tell. There wasn't too much, too many setups going into this. Oh yeah, I rewound too far. Sorry guys. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about. Samsung strong front leg. This has been in your face the whole game. Super explosive. In order to score underneath it, in order to trap it, you need to make sure you need to make him doubt. If this will hit, um, and that's exactly what Russia does here. Motion, not that. Sorry, not that. Next, next one. Not that one. I think here it is. Makes him doubt it. Makes him doubt it. Makes him doubt it. Is he gonna hit? Makes him doubt. Makes him doubt, and then goes. That's what I'm talking about. The score underneath, guys with strong, fast, dynamic front legs, whatever. Um, like that, you gotta make them doubt whether they can hit. And then usually in the hesitation, they don't throw it at 100%, you can capitalize off of that. Same thing with, uh, Iran usually throws two kicks, so I'm not sure if that's gonna be as effective. You gotta wait till he's done unloading all the bullets and like is on his way down for it for that to go. But for the most part, if you're gonna be countering someone's front leg, you gotta make them doubt they can hit. And then you can capitalize around it, either on the backside, on top of it, underneath it, spin. Whatever, but you can't have them comfortable comfortable throwing it when you do it. Let's uh, let's see if I can fast forward this without screwing this up for you guys. Okay, still, uh, yeah. Okay, here we go. Sudden death or golden point? Excuse me, golden point. Nice try by Samson trying to get that right off the bat. No, no, not the back leg. Scoring. Look for the cut. I wouldn't fight Samson with the left. Yeah, I'd fight him like that because this is, everything's coming out of the left. Try and hit the cut. No, the cut. You got a motion before you do that, bro. No, oh, there it is. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Very well done. Made, uh, made Samson doubt. I think they're going to go into the uh, replay, but made Samson doubt whether he could hit the front leg. Changed stance a couple times. Uh, let's see. Are you guys going to show a replay? I mean, I hope so. Replay, please. Replay. Here it is. Uh, this is a little bit further back. Um, this entire time, though, the reason Samsung is in this corner is because he's not sure what Russia is going to throw. Russia did this, set it us up, set this up with footwork. If you're watching this, you guys are trying to take some notes. If you guys want to set up or make someone doubt whether they can throw the front leg, you got to use the footwork, your feet, you got to use your feet, and you got to use some motion, some faking forward, some whatever, until they're no longer comfortable. And then that's when you can start looking for your point. If they're still comfortable, you motion, you wait for them to... Uh, be on the back foot, wait for them to be unsure. And if they're not and they're set, then you motion and you get out and you come back in. Russia, great job. This one, finishing it off well. Um, and good job looking for the cut. I I still personally would have told him to stop throwing the front like hook kicks or front like, front like full moons. But hey, I mean, this is semifinals of the world. So he can do whatever he wants, I guess. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go eat some lunch. That's it for me. See you guys tomorrow. Old school back leg, yes sir. Uh, sorry man, I didn't see that earlier. I wish I, I wish I did, but 
uh, yeah, old school back leg, good for kicking underneath the uh, good for kicking un in underneath the front leg. See you guys tomorrow. Thanks for tuning in.